What types of intermolecular forces exist between hydrocarbon molecules? And explain the origin of these forces. The answer to that is weak dispersion forces. And weak being the optimal word because hydrocarbons are actually nonpolar, which means they don't have an inherent charge, charge excuse me, by themselves. But what happens is they will have a temporary dipole, what's called a temporary dipole. Now these are vacillating or changing and moving instantaneous charges at either ends and this creates temporary dipoles. So looking at our diagram, if we imagine that this is one hydrocarbon molecule on the left, let's imagine it's by itself for now, pretend that one's not there. These symbols here are symbols for delta, which means slight. So we have a slight a delta negative, slight negative charge on the left and a slight positive charge on the right. And that's an original temporary dipole. So remember these dipoles can change and they are always changing. Now let's imagine we bring in a second molecule. What happens is it will have an induced temporary charge. Now because this side of the molecule is positive, it will therefore have an induced negative or opposite charge induced in it, so that therefore now what we have in between these two molecules are weak dispersion forces and there's a weak attraction there. So these two will actually come into contact with each other and come very close. But remember that they're very, very weak. Now, the instantaneous dipoles, as I said, they're weak and the original dipole will induce a dipole in a neighbouring molecule. So just think, if I had a molecule over here and let's swap up the charges. Let's say that it had a delta positive on the left and a delta negative on the right, so the opposite of that. And then this molecule comes running in. This will induce a temporary charge here of delta positive because these two dispersion forces or charges will always be opposite. And therefore, there's a weak attraction, excuse me, a weak attraction occurring between these two molecules. So, the weak dipoles, oppositely charged, they'll attract each other and form dispersion forces. So to recap, what types of intermolecular forces occur between hydrocarbon molecules? Weak dispersion forces. Okay, so temporary dipoles will occur and if another molecule comes in, Delta negative, sorry, delta negative, delta positive, delta negative, delta positive. You'll have a weak attraction between the two mo mole excuse me, molecules.